Um, is it time to kick Utah out of the Big 12? Have have the Utes and even down to Kyle Whittingham, the football coach, made too much of a stink early on. The murmurs of Utah going to the ACC. Is that too much that Utah should be taken out of the fold altogether? We move forward with somebody who wants to be here like a Washington State. No. And it is very, very asinine to believe that. Um, I'll, I'll Transparently here, Twitter account, Big 12 analyst cw lambert who i've never had any issues with never had a problem with any content the guys put out has started a position uh, a petition where 193 wise souls as he says have signed it's out to 426 signatures it started at 193 when he put the first tweet out have said that utah should be kicked out of the big 12 here is what chris lambert writes the RST members of the Big 12 Executive Membership Committee and Commissioner Brett Yormark, we, the undersigned fans of the 15 of Big 12's 15 members, hereby call upon conference leadership to take immediate action to expel the University of Utah from the Big 12 Conference. Rationale for expulsion. I'm going to jump to that. Attitude is his first one. He puts the University of Utah and its fans exhibit undesirable traits such as Machiavellianism. Uh, Machiavellianism? Uh, is, that, is that the right? Narcissism and psychopathy. So that's not good. He says, selfishness. The University of Utah, by its actions and comments, has made it clear it seems it sees its membership in the Big 12 as a marriage of covenants and will abandon the conference at the first opportunity. He also writes, foolishness. The arrogance and lack of wisdom exhibited by Utah's senior leadership played a critical role in the downfall of the Pac-12. So he's saying, in essence, Utah doesn't want to be here. They're ungrateful. The fan base is, is not up to par with Big 12 fan bases. is not that like kind of blue-collar appeal? And that Utah was the bug inside of the Pac-12 that ultimately killed the conference. Now, I do want to sit on that part right there. And again, direct quote from Lambert. Media reports indicate Utah President Taylor Randall convinced other Pac-12 leaders to reject the media rights contract offered by ESPN and Fox due to Randall's belief the Pac-12 deserved $50 million in t- the Big 12 security depends on wise leadership, not the folly exhibited by President Randall in the University of Utah. Now, here is where I will go to my friend, Mr. Lambert, and say, hey, wait a second. I remember some of these conversations here about six months ago. It was, hey, if the Big 12 goes to 16, then you now have eight voting members who aren't original Big 12 members. And you really only have a handful of schools that are true original Big 12 teams based on how a TCU and a West Virginia got added in a decade ago. So are you allowing the kind of the roots, the the pure nature of the league to be diluted by eight new members who could outvote or evenly vote the original eight or that hateful eight? I was worried about that. And if you go to 20, then you're, you have a lot less power if you're Texas Tech. If you go to 20, you have less power as a TCU, as a Baylor, as a West Virginia for those schools that kind of make up and represent what the Big 12 has always been about. So I understand why there is a worry here that a school, Utah or anybody else, could at some point flip the script on everybody else and sway voting within the Big 12 conference. Do I think it'll happen? Hopefully not, obviously, but it's certainly possible that anything can happen in college athletics. Though, when I first read this petition, I thought, huh, well, I'm not going to sign this. And I really hope it's parody. There was no and Utah was clear about this last week. There was no zero ounce of truth that the university, Dick Weiss, Weiss, the Dick guy, posted that Utah was looking for a possible way out of the Big 12 and had these, you know, underneath the table conversations with the ACC about jumping over. And we all collectively looked around the room and said, why? That's the stupidest thing in the world. What would Utah have any business leaving the Big 12 for right now based on the brand that the Big 12 is, the power the Big 12 has over the ACC? And just in general, that would be uh, how you say very stupid. Utah is not looking to leave the Big 12. And granted, uh, let me give you this. As someone who has been before a bit upset or discouraged by the discourse from Utah fans, by the, the, the rhetoric from a fan base that by and large seems happy to be in the Big 12, but there is a sect, a vocal sect, that really, really dislikes the Big 12 conference and being here. That is the case. That part is objective. There is a, a whole just group of Utah fans that are spiteful about being in the big 12 as someone who has been burned by that before I get, I get the malice, but from the administration at the very least, there's been nothing but positive things said about the big 12 conference. And this league, if we're honest with each other, saved Utah. I know 
go ahead, throw something, start crying, start screaming. This league saved Utah. If the Big 12 doesn't pick up the phone and give the Utes a call after Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State are there. And I know that Utah was hesitant. They thought maybe they could keep the Pac-12 together. Because again, with that TV, this whole TV conundrum where they denied ESPN and Fox original offer that in essence killed the conference, Utah was keen on helping build it back. Had they stayed on the ship and ridden it down, they would be where Washington State and Oregon State are, at least for now. The Big Ten wasn't going to extend an offer to Utah. Otherwise, they would have done it, and Utah certainly would have accepted it. I would get why you, a Utah fan, would prefer your team to be in the Big Ten. I, if I'm anybody, from a revenue standpoint and an overall health standpoint, you certainly want the Big Ten and the SEC more than the Big 12. I get that. I'm willing to admit that. Utah didn't get it. What about the ACC? They got Cal and Stanford and SMU. SMU. I don't think... I don't think that life raft over there was front in line for Utah. And if they were and Utah wanted to go to the ACC, then they, they probably would have done it. But they didn't. The Big 12 stepped in and in essence saved Utah. The conference already had BYU. I mean, this, this league has BYU that many could consider to be the flagship program of that state. And it was never a worry of, oh, do we have to have Utah? This conference saved them. It's not a bad thing. I get why they wanted to stay in the Pac-12. It's the conference that made them not relevant in college athletics, but put them in a power, made them a power brand even more so, put them in a power conference. And and I understand leaving that is hard, but they're they're not going to leave the Big 12. And, and we probably shouldn't do a petition to kick them out. Because Brett Yormark's not going to wake up tomorrow and go, hmm, these guys are assholes. See ya. That's not, it's not exactly how that works. So I think for the time being, at the very least, Utah is a, <laughs> to use Kyle Whittingham's words, I don't know, anything can happen. I don't even know we'll be playing BYU in three years. Um, though the rhetoric from their side can sometimes be snarky, that's not going to warrant kicking Utah out of the Big 12. And if you think that it is, you are, uh, for lack of a better, silly. This is Locked On Big 12, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. Look, FanDuel is the place to be for the NHL and the NBA playoffs. The finals are coming up. It is the Dallas Mavericks. It is the Boston Celtics. It's winner take all in the NBA and the NHL. And FanDuel is giving you a shot to bring home a big win of your own. Right now, new customers get 150. That's 150 bucks to bet on spreads, money lines, player props, and more. Go to FanDuel.com slash locked on and make every playoff shot count. Look, I know the Boston Celtics are big favorites right now in the NBA championship, but that gives you an even better look. Gives you an even better chance to win more money on the Dallas Mavericks, who are pretty scrappy, and I wouldn't bet against Luka Doncic right now. So you take the Dallas Mavericks at FanDuel, put five bucks, you win, you get 150 bucks to bet on spreads and money lines. Player props for more at FanDuel.com forward slash locked on. America's number one sports book, FanDuel.com forward slash locked on. 